hello everyone. We're going to do Aquarius. We're going to do Aquarius is a love relationship with the past, present, and future. Are y'all ready to hear? It's going to get juicy up in these streets. And uh, don't forget y'all, push that down because I want y'all to subscribe. So when I put something, you'll get it and spread this around to other people so that we can get into it. Too. But basically, this is your past, your present, and future for my courses. Are you ready? The clock is ticking. And now we got to find out who loves you and what you feel about it. Is it still going to go? <laughs> okay. Okay. Past and the present. Three of them came out. And the future. Okay. Now, first of all, we got on um, the your past as far as love relationships. You need to grow up. Growing up and um what Curtis is growing up because sometimes this is true. We get in relationships and we are not grown up. In other words, we're still maturing, we're still trying to figure out some of the young people, even some of the old people sometimes don't grow up. You stay young forever if you could. Because I do know that. But anyway, here we go. This uh, definition of this card, as you see, and it also has a divine wanting to groove and experience rejecting of perpetual youth. Okay? This card is understanding that the years bring their lessons to you. Embrace becoming an older, an elder. Watching time makes it mark upon you and embracing the signs of aging. Understanding the wisdom that can come with age. Being young at heart, yet yearning for encounters that will help you involve, grow experience, the fulfillment of life. Same thing with relationships. Sometimes you got to grow in them, but you got to grow up too because sometimes we don't grow up. They can mess up relationship too because you be doing everything that you shouldn't do, of course, and you know what I'm talking about. So let's get that straight. It says, shall I never get any older than I am now? That's that'll be comp confront one way never be an old woman, but then always to have lessons to learn. Oh, I shouldn't like that, you know. But you got lessons to learn. You're gonna get mature. You you pushed around. You cheated on or whatever the case may be. Or you the cheater. You grow up from that. That gets old to you as you get with age. It sees more maturity. It's going to show up in you. Okay, let's go to the present situation. Now, the present situation, you got three cards. So, we're going to go there. It says, follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what is best for you. You hear that? You know what is best for you. You need to follow your own advice when it comes to relationships. You're not following uh, what you say. You, you, you're going back on it. You know, you're thinking back on it like... Um, you start something and then um, all of a sudden it's on, um, I'm going backwards. You can't keep going backwards and in and out because with relationships, they can, you can really damage a person doing that. It's kind of like you either in or you're out. You know what I'm saying? But some people be playing this role like they really, oh, I don't want to do that. But then you act like you want to do it because you're doing silly stuff. Or you feel like uh, sometimes men or women, women take them back or, you know, they'll go back and just, oh, I made a mistake. And then it's back where you started from. And then sometimes we got to go back in time. Okay, this says harsh judgment for a mistake or an error made. Personal expectation calling, causing impossible sadness. A reminder to detect, find us clarity, and follow your own personal internal guidance system, which has some very practical solutions. You hear me? About your relationship, too. You need to follow, go back, and why this all happened in the first place if you're not with somebody or you... Uh, you, you're just talking and you're not doing well and you're not, oh, I'm going to do this and you don't follow up on what you say you're going to do. Okay? 
Okay, let's go to the next one. The next one is got choices. In other words, in your relationship, uh, love relationship, you have so many choices. You can't decide who you want to be with and who you, who you, uh, that you want to be with because you got too many choices, as they say. I got plenty of choices. It says feeling blocked and restrained. Okay. Choosing which way to go. A moment of decision. Uncertainty of what is best or what to do next. You hear me? Aquarius, you is just don't know what to do. You're kind of like, well, should I? You're feeling like each door is closed. Waiting wanting to reach the next stage of your life but not seeing a single way through in other words you're not seeing the way to get through your life you feel like everything is so harsh and and relationship is hard you can't pick the choice of the liquor you litter you know um it is a hard to pick the right person or which woman or which man you be decide to be with but you use the man you hope that your instincts tell you something if you if your instincts is telling you something that you should leave the person alone, most likely you should leave them alone because they've either got some catches to it or whatever. Uh, and remember, this is for all Aquarius. This is ain't for just no one Aquarius. So don't nobody shoot the messenger. <laughs> I'm only just saying it. You have choices. Okay. The next card. Okay. You can't go back to yesterday. Be in the present. In other words, you're feeling some, uh, some sadness that you made a mistake. Um, you just you, you feel like uh, in some ways you wish you could go back to what to re correct things, but you can't. You can't keep wishing that you can go back to to yesterday. You know, you, you got to live in the now because yesterday is gone. You know, and that's part of learning and maturing. You know, whereas you're gonna learn that some days you're gonna get, and some days you ain't gonna get. And you can't go back to something that was never there, you know. Uh, you can't make nobody just, uh, just, 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 you know, yourself just stuck. You know, you have to, you, you have to decide in your mind that this was the right thing for you to do. Because sometimes we don't feel like we did the right thing and we second guess ourselves later. And that's easy to do because everybody does it. Ain't nobody perfect. You know, that's, ain't nobody perfect, but I'm going to tell you this. I'm not going to keep going backwards. Can't even think about it. I got to go forward. Yesterday is yesterday. I can't change it. It says you are more than your past. You have evolved and changed. Sharing your history is only to share who you once were. You are no longer the same person. In other words, you're a different person now. You're not the same person. You're not... You, 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 you're not the same person you used to be. You're changed. You're changing. I couldn't tell you my adventures beginning from this morning, said Alice and little Timmy. But it's no use going back to yesterday because I was different person then. You're different. So you can't go back to that. So you have to accept what you done done. If you done left a relationship or you have problems with what you do, you got to accept. Because if you don't, you're going to hurt the relationship that you are trying to build with somebody. And um, I wouldn't want to do that to hurt the relationship that I'm trying to build. You know what I'm saying? With, or if you're trying to start a new relationship with somebody that you would like to be with. You know, because people... You know, there's a lot of people longing to be with somebody. They got to be with somebody. You know what I'm saying? They they just they feel like they're missing their longing for that. You know, like, I need a person. I need a man. I hear it all the time with women, and then I hear it all the time with men. But the thing is, when it's dating, everybody wants to play games. But they don't understand the games you play. Don't call it. You can The other person can play just as much games as you can. So what you dish out, the other person can dish out to you. So don't get it twisted. If you do some dirt and you think you're getting away with Aquarius, you're not. Because they see you from the cards. They're seeing you for what you are, you know. But you got to express your love to the person. That, if the person treats you right, keep them. If they treating you like trap, you know, ain't nothing you can do about that. Just go on because 
they gonna dismiss you. <laughs> then put that way. Next card, this is your future we're gonna talk about. And it's upside down, these two cards. Um, it says, I wonder what will happen next, okay? And then it says at the bottom, uh, ready to adventure, uh, pause before action. In other words, you keep pausing, you want to venture. It says attachment to habits, locked into um, stupid stuff, confronted over adventures, a lack of courtesy, satisfaction, remaining within the same world in repetition cycle. In other words, you're wondering what you could do next. You're sitting in the corner like, I should do this and I do that. But look at this, folks. If you keep sitting there and you don't venture out to do the things you want to do, you're missing out on the things that you're here to do. Do you know what you're here to do? In, in relationships, sometimes you don't venture out. If you're single people, you're not going to find nobody if you don't venture out. Because people don't come to you. Remember that. They don't come to you. Because a lot of them, they see you going someplace or try to catch your attention. But if you stay at home and you be harming and you're reading and you don't go nowhere, it's not too many chances that you're going to find somebody at home unless they ring the doorbell. Ring is the mailman. <laughs> And ain't nothing wrong with that. But if the mailman is the woman you want, but that's it's just hard to say. You know, uh, that's why I say, uh, remember, if you got a good one, you keep them. You know, if somebody's in a relationship, you keep them. Don't, don't be doing all these games, because these games is what makes people, not, the women or the men, act crazy, you know. Uh, today in time, I if you do a little cheating, you're going to get cut off. I'll tell you straight up. Women ain't playing. Men don't play that no more. Everybody getting tired of that. Okay. Last card is upside down and it says you've changed overnight. <laughs> you, you've really changed overnight. You have changed quickly. But it's upside down. It says feeling you are not growing as a person or that you have stayed the same for a very long time. You may be looking to introduce some new excitement and challenge into your life. To help you grow and discover more about all the wonderful shelves you have within you. It says, dear, dear, how queer everything is today and yesterday. Things went on just as usual. I wonder if I've ever changed in the night. You're changing because things that you went through, the major change, the lessons that you've learned, so you change. The person don't know you changing because you get to see that that's what you know. You're getting, you're seeing what people are about, even in relationships, even about your life. So you're changing and you're being picky of who you decide to be with. And there's nothing wrong with that, of course. I'll be picky too. You don't need no nobody that's gonna just gonna shade you the wrong way if they don't want to be bothered with you. <laughs> you know, you got to pray about it too. You know. Let's see, Aquarius, this relationship. Is there anything that I need to be telling about the past and the present? We're going to pull these three cards. Past, present, and future concerning my Aquarius is love and relationship. Okay? Past and present concerning their love and relationships. You know, what is going on with you? Okay? Let's see. Let's do uh, the past first since we got this here. The past. They fell out. I don't know what it is. You got cards everywhere. Boy, they won't talk to you. Okay, first of all, in your relationship, you need to, it says, okay, three cards came out, so you need faith, first of all, that you used to have in your past relationship, uh, but you've lost faith, okay? And you need to get back to your faith. In your relationship, you've lost faith in them, so kind of like disappointed in relationships impartiality is, is going on in your relationship too um, it's like you don't uh, in your present situation you are in uh, if you say if you don't know you just it's kind of like uh, how can I explain this um, impartialities there's things you don't like in the present present relationship uh, that's going on with you and it's got a lot of partialities that sometimes you're willing to take and sometimes you're not. Remember that. Uh, okay. 
I quickly listen allowing you to color your own palace. You you want to color it the way you you want everything your way. You're not being fair. You're not being neutral. Remember that, of course, in a relationship, you can't take it be all on you. You got to kind of like let the other person in if you want them to be a part of you. Now, if you don't want that relationship, then fine. You can do that all you want. So, you know, you can do that all you want, but you're going to find out that you have to be uh, fair, too. It ain't all the other person. Impartialities, there's stuff going on that make a relationship that you can't, you might not be able to accept. And you're going through some things. Let's see, could you ex uh, explain this? Why can't you make it more clearly for me, please? Give me some insight on partiality. Let's look. Okay, here we go. Okay, him pause. You look like you paused on the, on the presence of relationship. You look, but you pause. You blocking away. It says you need to go to a different direction on relationships. You're you're headed. You're blocked in this to go further in this relationship. So you need to uh, find another route. Okay, that's what that means. <laughs> You gonna have to do another route, okay? The next card on the uh, future that you got is uh, recovery, okay? And recovery is right here. It's uh, pain from our past. Unlock the door and understand. Okay, facing fears. Wounded in strength, courage to face the pain, awaken greatness. It's time to recover a part of me that has been dominant and, and ready to live inspired future. Once the key has been opened the door, you will be a new way of living. Without key, you were headed. There are no locks. You have to let a person in. In other words, you're blocking everybody that comes to your quarters. You want a relationship with somebody, you can't block on everybody. You got you to gotta give somebody, you got to give somebody the key. You got to let them in, you know. If you lock, you lock them out, they're not going to be able to come in. And therefore, you're going to be, you know, I'm put this way. Nobody likes to grow to be old by themselves. But some people do like to be by themselves because they don't think a woman's nagging. They think a man be nagging. But I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes and it, it, it ain't cool. Now let's get a clarification for recovery. It look like you need to cover covers for some pain that you went through. <laughs> some serious pain. Okay, recover. Okay. And then you have complacency with the future. Um it's like you're sitting there and waiting for something for a complete. It's like I am feeling loss of my dream. Something has hurt you so bad, you don't know how to go forward or what to do on that. So you just kind of done, you done stood, you sitting in there and you can't move from that spot because you're scared. You got to find self now. You got to get your, you got to get over what you've been through and give people chances because everybody's not perfect. You pray about it. You go to God to help you. But remember, it takes two. It's not all about you and just you. If you're going to be in a relationship, you both got to learn to compromise. And you can't. And, and another thing I'm going to tell you, Quirk, is just stop thinking that a woman don't have a clue what you're doing. You'd be surprised. Women not dumb. Or men is not dumb. When it comes to relationships, it's like everybody hiding something. Everybody think that women are just so naive they don't know what you're doing. They don't know that uh, a lot of problems in relationships, when they get in relationships, nobody wants to share. Nobody wants to put stuff that, if you're in a relationship and you married, everything should be on the table and y'all split it. But it doesn't work like that. And if it's not like that, women get angry just because they're not equal. Or if they say something, you snap. You know, most of Aquariuses don't like to listen. They don't like to talk. They play. They're all dreamy. They're in the head. A lot of them dream a lot. Nothing wrong with dreaming. But also remember, the woman likes to dream too. It ain't always about you. And stop seeing women as just something that that hurts your feelings. And there's nobody out there. There's always somebody for everybody. 
problems is you got to accept some of the things they do because they ain't perfect. Then you ain't perfect either, Aquarius. So if you think you're perfect, then you know you lying to yourself. You're telling stories and you correct that. So if you want to be in a good relationship, you got to compromise. You got to show people. And first of all, you got to pick somebody. Stop picking all these other chicken heads. You get too many chicken heads, you ain't going to know what to do with all them chicken heads. They're all going to start beating together. And then they're going to flock, flock, flock. <laughs> then you're going to be run, run, run. <laughs> you know, so you got to be careful when, in relationships because people's feelings really get hurt now. They really get hurt. So you got to really think about it. And sometimes other people don't think about it. Women don't think about men's feelings either. Just like they, oh, he going to do this and he going to, oh, she going to do this. No, you, no. You're too big on anger trying to control each other and not coming together as one. You talk to talk, then walk. You know what I'm saying? You do, you supposed to be, like, if this is a man, you supposed to be the man of your castle. If you treat your woman like she on the floor and she ain't part of the castle, then she ain't going to be around long. She going to do like you. If you treat her bad, she going to treat you bad. She going to get you back in some other way. And if that's not the way to be. It ain't about getting each other back. It's about growing up, coming together, and making a life for each other. Making yourselves a future. Games need to stop being played in relationships. Because if you play them, they're going to backfire on you. Just remember, if you're a cheater, let's get this straight. Anybody that's in a relationship and you're a cheater, let me tell you something. Why put yourself through all this? Ain't no sense cheating. All the time you're trying to keep this person on the side, that, that ain't cool. You know, you need to recognize what you do, you reap what you sow. And I know, I've been through that. You reap what you sow. If you think you're going to hurt somebody, where would you hurt yourself? So you need to stop all the madness. This, ain't, this is serious. Why play games all the time? Why not be serious? Why don't let go of the hurt that you feel, the pain, then you might go on with another relationship instead of sitting over here on this chair wondering about the past or what you done been through, your, your childhood or the people that you, you got a problem with that you can't forgive. You know, I, one thing about I don't understand some people just don't know how to forgive and y'all are one of those once you break your heart you told my draws it's like you told my draws but remember the point is you're not perfect either but you see yourself it's so perfect this other person don't compare to you you know in your mind but that person is not silly because she putting up with you or he putting up with you so it's a two-way street in relationship. If you want a good relationship and you want gold in it, then act like it's gold. Stop acting like your relationship is made out of just pain. Oh, I just hate it. Okay, let's get one more card and we're going to see. Let's see if there's anything else we can say about um, your future relationship. What's going on in the future concerning Aquarius? Is there anything else that needs to be said about their future? To Michael King. Anything else that we need to say that concerning relationships that may future on um, the next of what they need to do, or is there going to be a next in relationships? What else can we say? What else is going on? These relationships is difficult. Okay, it says message from rabbit service to an animal world. Sometimes look like an animal or something you got around you. It's looking at you. We're trying to get your attention. It's weird. Um, and it's like getting message. It says message for the rabbit. In other words, messages is going to be coming in from somebody, some female or some male. I can't tell you who it is, but they're going to be doing messages to you. And they're going to be messaging you. And uh, there's a dear animal that has something to say to you. Uh, this card come up more than once. <laughs> it says, "A wonder opportunity is going to break through your ordinary your ordinary reality and give you a chance to change your world and your perspective for women and everybody. You're going to get some advice on what to do, or somebody's going to call you, and you're going to get one day you're going you're going to meet your man in the future. You're going to meet somebody else if you're in love with your pet." And you need a pet to be in love with, to keep love in your life. Some people can't love no nobody. They can love their pet, but they can't love nobody. Ain't no wrong being just at home with a pet. But that pet gonna, ain't going to be able to do 
what somebody else will do for you. Now, unless you're doing something you got no business and you don't need to do that. But like I said, love is in the air and you got to go for it. But remember, treat each other with respect. If you don't treat somebody with respect, they don't treat you with respect in relationship. It's a give and take. You got to compromise on some things and they ain't perfect. So let's get that straight. Ain't nobody perfect. And that's all I got to say to y'all for the day on this subject. And I tell you like this, God bless y'all. And I'll see you next time because this is LA. And push that button. If you hear what I, you want to hear what I got to say because I'm going to come over with different stuff every day. Thank y'all. God bless.